Hello and hello everyone, my name is Lucy and welcome to Books and Brushes. So today we are doing a book haul. It's funny because around autumn, I think it was last year, I wore this very jumper and I did a book haul. So it was meant to be, right? So yesterday I went and bought a lot of books. I wasn't planning on it, but there it happened. So I'm just going to do a little book haul for you before this stack of new books gets out of control. So flashback to ages ago, like last March, where I went to LA and I bought a whole ton of books. I've got like videos on book hauls from that if you want to check them out on my channel. And one of the books I bought from Barnes & Noble in the Grove in LA was This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I absolutely love the cover of this book and I was really excited to read this book, it sounds so good. So I bought this and then I never got the second one. And the UK covers are ugly, I've mentioned this a million times before and I'll mention it a million times again. These books are beautiful, the UK ones are ugly, why? So, because I don't have the second one of this book and I really like to binge a whole series, I've never gotten around to this duology, which is really frustrating. My mum-in-law recently went to Washington and Virginia to go visit some family out there and she she's a beautiful human being let's start with that and so she asked me if i wanted a book from barnes and noble and you know what your girl wanted you know our dark duet by victoria schwab and now ah oh, i have the two and they match and it's beautiful so now that i have both i can finally get around to this series and i'm really excited to do that next two books were a purchase from waterstones a oh, what a surprise so i went in there one day and it was right before i was due to meet my friend and the wind, it was so strong, it blew me indoors. <laughs> like, I, I can't resist going downtown and not going in there. It's, it's not possible. How do you do that? So I went in there right before closing and I was like, right, I'm going to buy a couple of books and be out. Quick as a flash. And funny story, I got locked in. Because <laughs> it was closing and no one else was in there. I went and bought these two books and I went, literally went to run out and the doors were locked. And they were like, oh yeah, whoops. <laughs> so only a book nerd would get accidentally locked in a bookstore. And I was like, guys, as much as this is my dream, um, I do have a friend to go see. <laughs> anyway, back to the books. So I bought two books. Since we're already on the Victoria Schwab train, I've got a, another Victoria Schwab book, which is the sequel to City of Ghosts. I really enjoyed that book. And again, it's October right now. So all the spooky reads, I think this will be perfect for that. And I'm looking forward to getting to the second one in that series. And second, I've, I've got The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill. Now I've been buying a lot of like underwater mermaid, little mermaid retellings recently, I don't know what it is, but I seem to have lots of them now, <laughs> they've just grown. It seems to be a recent trend, especially in, in books in the last year or so, there's been so many water books. Before I talk any more though, look at this spine, can you, can you see that? It's got like a wavy pattern and it's glorious. Anywho, <laughs> so this book is a very alternative kind of Little Mermaid retelling. This is the version of The Little Mermaid where The Little Mermaid Ariel is a little bit more of a feminist, a little bit better, as far as I've gathered from the synopsis and everything, which is awesome because I love the idea of The Little Mermaid, I love the concept and all that, but the actual, the actual film, Ariel's just, she's just an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, but she sees the handsome man She's like, yep, yeah, I'll give away my voice to go bang him because, you know, who needs a voice? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave my entire family and run off with the hottie, yay! Are you, are you serious? Can you not see Ursula cackling in the corner and the eels? Like, why would you sign this contract? She didn't even read it. I'm thinking about The Little Mermaid here. So I'm really excited to read a version of The Little Mermaid where Ariel is actually cool and I don't know how they're going to do this, but I'm really excited to see and I've got a feeling I'm going to really, really love this version of the story. So that brings us to yesterday where I um, I went to Tesco. I know, buying books in Tesco? How do I even do it? I don't know. I went there to pick up a couple of bits before work and get my friend like a present, like a bottle of alcohol, and I just happened to go by the book section. I didn't even know they sold many books in there. But I saw loads and they were like really good price, like some of them were so cheap. And I was like, how come I didn't know this before? Like, I didn't even think to buy books in a supermarket. <laughs> like, why would you? But I saw them, so I had to buy them, so here we are. And the first one, one of the ones that really caught my eye was The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Now, this is a book I've wanted for ages. Like, I've been eyeing this book for so, so long. It seems so up my street. 
And yeah, I haven't gotten it until now for a really superficial reason. And that's that Waterstones does this really gorgeous cover. And it's kind of expensive. And I'm too cheap to kind of fork out all that money just because of the pretty cover. But then again, it's pretty. Like, so I haven't bought the book and I've been waiting for it to be like discounted or, or to find it somewhere else for cheaper. But I haven't managed to do that. And this was like four quid in Tesco. So done deal. It's not exactly an ugly cover, so I will take it. I can, I can handle it. This, I think, was cheap and available because of the new one that's coming out. I, what is it? The Testaments or something? I don't know. There's a new like one. After all these years, there's like a second book. And I didn't buy that one because it was like 14, 15 quid and I was like, nope. But <laughs> this one, I've been wanting for ages and now I have it. Next up on my Tesco book spree, I have Trinkets by Kristen Smith. So I've seen this advertised on Netflix and it's one of my kind of to watches but I haven't gotten around to it. Didn't even know it was a book, that happens a lot with Netflix, like they're always making these shows and it turns out they're always books. And you know me, I'd always prefer the book over the, the film or the series so I really am excited to read this book and if I enjoy it then I might watch the series so that might be a better way to consume this story. Either way, I'm really excited I've got this and I can't wait to get into it. The next one is one I've seen in Waterstones before and I ummed and nod, but I never got to it and in Tesco, it was one of the ones I picked up and that is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Years ago there was this murder and the police kind of solved it, everyone know who's done it but a few years later this girl, she's not so sure, she doesn't quite believe the conclusion that the police came to and she thinks something else happened so she's doing like a report for school or something she's like an A grade student and so she decides to investigate this murder and try and find an alternative and as I think is going to happen she's probably going to be right and she's probably going to get into a load of trouble and I'm really excited and hopefully I mean again a murderous plot again another possible Halloween read mm -hmm. and I'm really looking forward to this one it's contemporary but it's fairly th I mean it's more of a thriller I guess murder mystery I don't know either way I'm looking forward to get to it and the last two books I picked up from Tesco are related so I'll show them together so they had like the whole collection of these I think I don't know how many there are but I only got two <laughs> only <laughs> and that is these Disney revamped twisted versions of Tales I'm, I'm not sure what the series would be called but it's these you might have seen them so they've got all of like the classic Disney stories and they've darkified them and written them as books so I've got a reflection and I've got as old as time. I had to get reflection because Mulan. Mulan is one of my favourite Disney movies, it's definitely my favourite Disney princess movie, my favourite Disney princess 100% and at the back of this one sounds really cool. So to give you an example of how they've like revamped these stories, it says on the back of this one that Captain Sheng is dead and Mulan has to go to the underworld to save him or something and she's obviously got Mushu by her side to help her and I don't know how the hell any of this is going to happen but it sounds amazing, it's Mulan so it, like, it's going to be great and I'm looking forward to being back in that world in a new way so I'm really really interested to see how this goes and the second one I bought, Oldest Time, as you can imagine, is a Beauty and the Beast retelling so this one is a more twisted version of Belle in the Castle of the Beast and I think it proposes on the back that her mother is the one that cursed the beast so you know they've gone into more depth about the lore. Beauty and the Beast is another one of the Disney movies I absolutely love. I mean Belle is obsessed with books. I mean can't relate but such a fun movie. The songs in it are great. Gaston's just great. <laughs> it's one, one of those classics that I really love so these are the two I had to get. There was also a Little Mermaid one, a Sleeping Beauty one and a Snow White one I think for the other three. Um, I wanted to get all of them but there's only so many books you can buy in Tesco when you're going to work and you just went in for a, you know a couple of bits <laughs> there's only so many books you can buy so I just I only bought two and decided that those other ones if I read these and like them I can go back or maybe even before that I can just go back and get the other ones and jobs are good if I did go back I think that Little Mermaid one would be the next one I'd want to pick and then just the other two as well Anyway, while I'm having a crisis about where to put all these books, I hope you like this video and go and comment of which of these books you think looks best, or if you've read any of these books, I would love to know what you think. And I need your advice. Which of these books is the most Halloween-y? Because I've got way too many books to read for October for Halloween, and I just, I don't know how to narrow this down. So out of these few, which one should I definitely put on that Halloween read list? 
and I may or may not read it. So just, just help me out guys, help me decide. And that is my most recent influx of books. I don't know if you can see like, because to me I can see my shelves much closer than you get to see them. And as I showed you in my last bookshelf tour, it's a full shelf. <laughs> like I'm having to stack upon stack upon stack. So right now, this is where um, the Disney books live. They're not even straight, <laughs> but I can't, this book is too tall, it's frustrating, but I can't really put it away from the Maggie Steve Arders, so, and that doesn't really fit anywhere else, so, I hope you subscribe if you haven't, please come join my little family, I'm growing bit by bit, I feel like it's just all of a sudden I'm getting more and more, and I'm like, where are you people coming from? Oh, hello! <laughs> if you are a new subscriber, hello, thank you so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!